Joseph Stalin was born in a relatively unknown country in the Russian Empire called Georgia. In that, he was born into extreme poverty because that state was just not, not very well developed like the rest of the European countries. And he was born to a drunk and abusive dad that would beat him constantly, and anything that he would do bad, he would get beat from it. While, on the contrary, his mom loved him dearly. Funny enough, though, Joseph Stalin actually went into the seminary to become a priest. That, was, that doesn't seem too good. While he was studying to become a priest, he would secretly lead the Communist Manifesto by Karl Marx. In that, that is when he became infested with the ideolo ideology of communism, which communism is a political and social economic system where the state owns everything and there is the state is involved in everything. No one owns anything. Where land, the state owns. A store, the state owns. So everything that you could theoretically own, the government owns it, actually. So during the Russian Revolution, he became a disciple of Vladimir Lenin. And he was the leading person in the Communist Party in Russia while the revolution was happening. Which, with that, he was promptly arrested several times and also sent into exile on the Siberian fronts of Russia as well. For many years, the, <clears throat> the communist became the sole leading part of Russia, later renamed as the Soviet Union. In 1924, he became the leader of the Soviet Union, and that was met with extreme fear and horror between all people. And he ruled the newly founded Soviet Union with absolute power and authority, and he wanted to control the state. And that, with that absolute power and authority, he directly and indirectly caused the deaths of millions of Soviets, around 20 million people, by causing famines, sending them to gulag, and sending them to gulags on the Siberian front. Where World War One first started the breakout, he signed a non-aggression pact with Germany, which would be that whenever Germany and Russia cannot fight each other in Poland, and they agreed that half will go to Russia, half will go to Germany. Well, Adolf Hitler did not really follow that. And with him being a communist, he strongly disliked Adolf Hitler. He did not like him. He was an ex they were on both ends of the spectrum, far right and far left. So during World War One, I, I mean World War Two, he became a allies with the America America, British and France, but as you know, France did not last very long in the war. So they were allies, but secretly they hated each other because the American ideology and the Russian ideology did not go too well. So after the war, there became a Cold War and an uh, arms race between America and the Soviet Union from nuclear bombs. Because right before Joseph Stalin had passed away, they had figured out how to create atomic weapons and bombs. With that, on March 5th, 1953, Joseph Stalin had passed away, which his death left people with a lot of horror, and a lot of horror left a legacy of death and horror. The next person who took over the Soviet Union tried his best to de-Stalinize the entire Soviet Union from him, so people would not remember him.